Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and uh, we're gonna talk about G4, G4 TV. We've talked a lot about G4 TV. It is gonna basically be a case study in, in what not to do when you try to bring back a, a beloved gaming brand franchise thing, TV thing. Uh, G4 TV made so many missteps. It's gonna go down in history as being one of the the biggest mistakes in games media ever made. I mean, it was a complete disaster. It will be the Arch Deluxe or New Coke of uh, gaming media, right? And we're gonna talk about uh, the numbers. And I missed this. I had a friend kick this over uh, to me that G4 actually had a $19 million income goal. A $19 million income goal. And this is why it was shut down. I'm gonna put into perspective what it would take for G4 to actually make $19 million. Now remember, I think the last video we did on G4 TV, we talked about their uh, offices being sublet in Burbank, and, and I think they spent $25 million on their studio, their massive studio. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk numbers, we'll talk YouTube numbers, and I think most of their revenue they're looking at coming from uh, YouTube and Twitch. And for them to hit $19 million, they would have to be in like the top 10, easily in the top 10 YouTube channels out there. And there's no way in hell they were ever gonna hit that. So they were set up to fail. Absolutely, Comcast had very unrealistic expectations for this channel. They spent way too much money out of the gate. I don't know what they were expecting. We're gonna find out. We're gonna talk about this. Uh, Eventually, we're gonna hear more and more, I think, as people's uh, NDAs come up on the on the G4 situation. But uh, let's talk about this. Before we get to it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over uh, 281, almost 282,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, we have talked a lot about G4. We talk about uh, blunders, Hollywood blunders, uh, media blunders, and G4 is, is definitely one of the biggest blunders of all time. Uh, there will be freaking YouTube documentaries about made about G4, the disaster for years to come. There will possibly be a movie about it. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Like a movie about a failed uh, revival of a beloved uh, video game, TV show, network, whatever. Uh, so here's the thing, right? We talked about the shutdown of G4, talked about all the people getting laid off and so many mistakes, so, so many mistakes. We've also talked about the numbers that uh, G4, X-Play, they tried to rebrand themselves on YouTube. Uh, they were very lucky if they pulled in 15,000 views on a day. Now this is, uh, let's see, this is currently, they're, they're, they're getting about 1,500 views uh, per day, 2,000 views per day. To put that in perspective, uh, the Clownfish Studios gaming channel, which has been dormant for a couple months, still gets more traffic than they do. And we barely promote that channel. So how the hell they could fail this hard with that much money behind them? I'm like, I know. Spend a couple hundred thousand dollars on a set and spend a couple million dollars on maybe marketing the channel or something so people knew it was coming back. But look, in YouTube dollars, and these are fairly accurate numbers. They weren't even making $10 a day. You know, <laughs> It's like, what the hell? But they were expected to hit... $19 million, according to Digital Trends. Again, hat tip to my friend Kay, who sent this over. Uh, Comcast acts G4 after it failed to meet a $19 million income goal, source says. Um, again, this is from last month. I totally missed this. Uh, so thanks again, Kay. Just weeks after G4's sudden shutdown, sources interviewed by Digital Trends have shed some light on one of the issues, that one of the many issues, the gaming network faced during its short life. Former employees who chose to remain anonymous note that Comcast had set a $19 million income goal for the brand, a number it struggled to meet before closing down. Struggled is putting it mildly. Again, I'm just looking at the YouTube revenue, potential YouTube and Twitch revenue. There's no way in hell. They probably weren't even making $100 a day between the two. I'd be very surprised if they were. And, you know, I mean, you could say advertising on linear TV but they said that G4 was like dead last on, on uh, a lot of uh, cable providers. It was like one of the least viewed, less than a thousand people watch G4 TV. So they weren't getting top ad rates. So where the money was coming from, pff, I have no idea, you know? Uh, and again, the, uh, the days of 
cash flowing freely to bankroll startups. You know, if this had happened even five or six years ago, Comcast might have said, hey, we're going to give you three to five years to, you know, to find your bearings and, and get things, you know, moving or whatever. But uh, they gave them a year and they're like, yeah, you're, you're done. You're not making the money. I don't know who told them what kind of money you could make in YouTube and in streaming, but they had some really very, very unrealistic uh, expectations. And I'm going to talk about that in a couple of minutes. Uh, last year, cable TV and internet service provider Comcast decided to revive G4, a gaming-focused TV channel that rose to prominence in the early 2000s. The company put tons of stake into the channel, yeah, $25 million, to try to regain its old viewership, hiring tons of talent, including returning G4 favorites and modern content creators. Uh, Comcast abruptly shut the channel down, laid off its employees and contractors after only a year in October 2022. One source that Digital Trends spoke to explained that employees and contractors uh, were told that G4 had a $19 million income goal a few months ago during the start of the company's fiscal year. They noted there was a uh, doubt among the staff at the time that the channel could come close to reaching that number. They couldn't. We were very, very clearly weren't even touching that goal a little. Uh, one week prior to shutdown, the staff was told anything scheduled to air the following week was being pushed to a later date. We weren't really given a reason, but we were told shows like Attack of the Show and X-Play were no longer shooting on the dates they were planned to. It took me years to get into this industry, they explained, and it sucks that people just got to decide overnight that 150 people didn't have jobs anymore. It sucks, but that's business. You spend $25 million on a posh studio and God knows how many millions of dollars on salaries, how many hundreds of thousands of dollars to, to build the uh, CEO's Palpatine throne room or whatever, and and uh, you know where did you think the money was going to come from? Sources also detailed what they called a silver lining to the situation. Some of the laid off workers were getting two months severance, um, so that's good, I guess. Another source said that former full time G four employees are being paid severance and bi weekly payouts for sixteen weeks, uh, ending the beginning of January. Other employees received a letter from Comcast. Uh, that states, due to such a sudden network shutdown, they're entitled to an additional 60 days of pay under the Warren Act. So it looks like, you know, look, for the short term, they're going to be taken care of anyway, right? But here's the thing. Let's talk about what YouTubers make. Because I heard 19 million, and I'm like, wait, did they think they were going to get that from YouTube and Twitch? Because you do realize that, like, the biggest Twitch streamers and the biggest YouTubers don't make that much money, right? $19 million would have put them above Logan Paul in terms of YouTube revenue. Like, like <laughs> these are, these are the biggest YouTubers out there currently. And there are a lot of people that make, you know, a couple million dollars a year. I actually know some people that make a couple million dollars a year. I know some people on YouTube that make significantly more than that. But what I'm telling you is that uh, if they were depending almost solely on YouTube and Twitch, because clearly they weren't selling ads uh, on linear because nobody was watching the damn thing. There's no way in hell they were going to even come close. I mean, it's not even in the ballpark. It's not even like, yeah, we're making, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month or fifty thousand dollars a month. You know, whatever. We're paying some salaries. No, it's like they're lucky if they were making a hundred bucks a day, and they wanted to make, they wanted them to make more money than Logan Paul in less than a year. So they were completely set up to fail, or somebody completely just bullshitted their way. To getting this thing greenlit like oh guys there's so much money to be made in youtube oh my god yeah we could make we can make almost as much money as ryan's world you know we could get we could just get right we're freaking g4 man we'll get in we'll be as big as ninja in like day one i don't know what the hell they were telling people but there's no way in hell no way in hell uh, that they were gonna make that much money even the top the top earning tiktokers uh 17.5 million and 10 million right and they were going to make they were going to make 19 million dollars uh, doing what doing what selling frosts bath water i mean what what did they think they were going to do for 19 million dollars absolutely insane but uh, there it is guys uh, g4 tv is no more it's off the air it's gone it's history and uh it's it's a colossal failure and i, I cannot wait to hear more details as to what actually went down Go to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.